discussing uh, a C++ program to search for a given element in an array uh, using uh, binary search in order to do so we will open up uh, turbo C++ Once we open up, uh, then I'll be opening the new uh, file. And in order to uh, increase the uh, size of the window, I'll press F5. To start with, I'll include hash include iostream.h. And in addition to that, I'll be using uh, coni.h. And then I'll begin with the class name class followed by class name here the class name is binary search and after that uh, what I will do I will begin with the uh, class and end with the uh, class so within the class module I will be having uh, two parts uh, the first one is private and the other one is public so within public uh, member function I mean within the public part we will be having three uh, member function that is get data and then I will be having uh, one more uh, member function so that is uh, search to search the element within the array and after that I will be having one more uh, member function called as display and after that I'll close it right now I don't I won't declare any uh, private uh, declaration variable part over there let me get into uh, the uh, coding of uh, the member functions so for that I will start with void binary search and that is the uh, class name followed by uh, scope resolution operator because we are writing the uh, code for uh, the member function get data outside the class so because of that we will be using uh, scope resolution operator so here I'll be using co statement and within this uh, double quote I'll be saying enter the value for n or enter the size of the array and after that I'll close that with a semicolon and by using cn I'll be using uh, I'll be reading n and now I need to uh, get the array elements uh, so therefore I'll say enter the um, elements of the array and after that I'll close it so for that I'll use for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n and then i plus plus and within this what I'll do I'll receive the array elements by using c in command so c in a of i so this is how uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, get the array elements and after that uh, I need to get one more input from the user that is C out I'll say the search element so enter the search element and after that I'll close that particular statement and within that I'll be using CN and ELD is my search element and after that I'll close that uh, member function now I need to uh, I'll be writing the code for uh, uh, what is it search so for searching uh, again I'll start with void binary last name and that is a binary search and after that I'll be using scope resolution operator so here I'll be using uh, search or I'll be writing the code for search and within this what I'll do is I'll declare few variables uh, called as uh, beginning that is the index part and then end that is also index part and after that mid so here also we'll be using these three variables in order to uh, find out the index of uh, the element to be searched so therefore I'll initialize these locations I'll be using one more uh, uh, what is it variable called as loc so loc is initialized to minus 1 so by default I'll initialize it to uh, minus 1 if it is minus 1 then it is unsuccessful search 
and if there is any element which is searched and it is present in the array so then uh, we'll be displaying that particular uh, location so this loc is initialized to minus one to check that whether the search is uh, successful or not so uh, within this what i'll do is uh, uh, begin index is initialized to zero and uh, the end is initialized to n minus of one because we start we are starting the index with zero so because that uh, because of that n should be always uh, minus of one here i'll be using a while loop and here um, while beginning is less than or equal to the end that is the indexes then what i have to do i have to do something within that so therefore what i'll do so within that i'll check the condition mid is equal to uh, low plus high i'll be adding the index of low and then index of high and then dividing it by 2 so here I will be doing that and after that uh, within this I will be checking the middle element and of course one more important thing that you need to understand over here is uh, the elements has to be uh, sorted before implementing this particular algorithm if the element is not sorted then this particular algorithm will not work so first you need to sort and then you need to check the element now if ELE is equal to now I'll check the middle element that is A of mid if it is equal to true uh, then what I'll do I'll open up the brackets and then say LOC is equal to ELE so means to say uh, that is the location where we uh, find the uh, uh, element that is the location and after that I'll use break and after that I'll close this and if it is not then I need to change the interchange the index index so for that I need to check if uh, ELE if it is less than A of mid that is the mid value uh, then uh, it lies in the lower end of the uh, array and otherwise it lies in the higher end of the array so therefore here I'll say uh, end is equal to mid minus of 1 here I'll say mid minus of 1 otherwise uh, that is else so I'll say uh, beginning uh, is equal to mid plus 1 so means to say if it is in the upper uh, array so then I need to increment the value by uh, middle element and uh, the rest of the things so now what I'll do I'll close this and after that uh, we have closed this particular uh, member function also now what we'll do is we'll go for uh, display for that i'll be using again binary search that is uh, the class name followed by display and then i'll close this i'll start these things and within this uh, what i need to do is i need to uh, display the element uh, so i need to check the location counter that is if uh, loc is equal to sorry if it is greater than or equal to 0 then the result is uh, true otherwise the result is false so therefore I will say see out uh, position that is uh, position is equal to I will just display the uh, what is it I mean location location of the element which is present otherwise so what we will do the result is unsuccessful so means to say the search element is not present so therefore you will say search is unsuccessful and then you will close this and you will close this particular statement now what happens the code is almost written and now I'll be uh, getting into the uh, main program that is the main calling of uh, declaring an object and then calling all the member functions and here uh, the class name is binary search and uh, I'll be using a variable called as B so B is nothing but it's an object of the class uh, binary search so I'll be using clear screen and then I'll be using B dot get data that is object name dot uh, member function and after that uh, I'll close the statement and after that I'll say B dot search 
and then I'll close this and after that I'll say b dot display and then I'll close this also so now almost the code is complete uh, now I need to come back and uh, declare all the variables that what I have uh, declared in uh, the private part so here I'll say int a of around 20 20 is the size of the array and then I'll say n and after that I'll put the semicolon now I need to save this particular file uh, now what I'll say uh, binary search and after that I'll save this particular file now what I'll say I'll say f9 to compile the program so yes of course it has seven errors so here what we need to do is we need to declare uh, the integer value so therefore here what I'll say I'll say int i and again I'll say f9 so again you have n um, I mean uh, this thing so here what we need to do is we need to declare ele uh, let me compile the program so here it says that it is undefined symbol ele so therefore what I need to do is I need to come back and I need to say over here ele and then I'll again compile f9 now you have four errors so location is also not defined so therefore what I'll do I'll come back to the main program and then uh, define uh, what is called as uh, location so we need to declare that uh, location we need to declare the location in the uh, private part so that is LOC and then I'll say F9 so now we do have two so here uh, low and high uh, is, uh, should be defined so here uh, yeah so here we need to include uh, the statement as uh, it's not low it is beginning so beginning plus high or you can see uh, you can assign it as low plus high so here you will say beginning plus uh, does not high and the index is end end so then i'll be assigning this so now i'll be again compiling the uh, program so now uh, of course uh, what we need to do is again we need to save this particular file so what happens is uh, like you can use any kind of uh, variable uh, and interchangeably we should know how to debug the program then only we can uh, uh, write effective uh, programs uh, using the logic uh, now what we'll do let us see whether the program runs or not so therefore what we'll do we'll press ctrl f9 and here the size of the array is let me assume that it is 5 and here uh, one more important thing that you have to do is you have to give the elements in a sorted manner so therefore i'll say 12 23 34 and then 45 and then 56 so now the search element is 34 let me uh, give you this uh, let me give the input as search element as 34 now i'll say enter say yes now i'll press alt f5 to see the output yes of course position is equal to 35 it is there it is found but it is giving the element i need the uh, location also so for that what i'll do i'll come back to the uh, display unit here we are displaying the uh, location so that is position is equal to uh, the location we need to uh, give here uh, we do have uh, in the search module uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to check out uh, that so here it is not ELE is equal to mid. Uh, here I need to say the index value is assigned to location. So after that I'll say F, F2, and then press F9. Because I need to get the index. So therefore I'll say 5 again. Uh, here I'll say 12, 23, 34, and 45, and again 56. Now I'll say 34. So again I'll say enter. So I'll say yes, and then I'll go to Alt F5. Here you can see that uh, the uh, position that is present is uh, in the location uh, 2. So because 12 is 0th location, 23 is uh, first location and 34 is the second location. Now again uh, what I need to do is I need to check for the, uh, the false condition also. 
let me give the uh, run the program again and I'll give the value as 5 so now I'll say 12 23 uh, 34 and again 45 and then again 56 now let me enter a, a number which is not present in the array list so what I'll say I'll say 10 so what it should do is it should give me that it is unsuccessful search so therefore as you can see in the output it says that it is search is unsuccessful this is how what you will do is you will execute the uh, program uh, in C++ uh, to perform what is called as binary uh, search method and to find the location of the element whether it is present or not. Thank you all.